This video will demonstrate how the iterator works with the deck. Hello, I'm James Helfrich. Most iterators in the standard template library are pointers. The deck is different. It's an index. We're going to learn today why that is and how it works. First is a reminder of how the iterator is declared in the deck. There are actually four iterators, the forward iterator, the constant iterator, the reverse iterator, and the constant reverse iterator. Each one of these allow the plus plus and the minus minus go forward or backwards. It turns out the deck also allows for the plus equals operator. Okay, they recall that there are four different implementations we can use for the deck. The first one is to use a list as an underlying data structure, which is great, but it does not allow for the square bracket operator. In other words, we cannot have random access. We have the wrapping array implementation, the array of pointers implementation, and finally the one that standard template library uses, which is the array of array. And this is going to have an array of pointers to blocks, and each block will have a collection of elements. In order to move from one block to the other, the iterator has to know details about that implementation, how big a block is, and where the next block is in memory. Okay, first of all, the list implementation is actually trivial. The list implementation simply has a list iterator as a member variable for the iterator. And so the dereference and the plus plus and the minus minus operator are trivial. It just calls the list plus plus minus minus and dereference operator. The array for array implementation is different. It uses an index to the deck as well as a pointer to the deck itself. Now let's verify we're correct on this. So I'm going to say pound include deck, and that's why I use this deck standard template library. And I'll instantiate a deck object, a deck of integers. And I'll say scd colon colon deck of int, and I'll call it d, and I'll give it the values 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever. And I'll also instantiate a deck iterator. Um, here I'm just going to say auto rather than scd colon colon deck of int colon colon iterator. And I'm going to have it point to the second element. So begin will be the, to 10 and plus plus will be to the 20. And when I break into the debugger, sure enough, what am I going to see? I'm going to see in our iterator a, the index as well as a pointer to the deck itself. So we're definitely on the right track. Now with these two attributes, the deck index as well as a reference to the deck itself, it's actually very simple to implement the various imp iterator interfaces. Begin is done by instantiating a deck iterator with a zero deck index. Dereference is carried out by, by using the array index operator. Advance is carried out by incrementing the deck index. And we can even do the plus equals operator. And this is done by adding an offset onto the deck index. All of these are done very simply once we have an index to the deck as well as a reference to the deck itself. You can learn more about the deck iterator as well as the deck itself in the deck chapter of the C++ Data Structures textbook.